Do you feel it? It's building. It's pushing in all directions at once. It's, it's pressure! Woo! Bill Nye the Science Guy. is a property of matter. Brought to you by Pressure! Ah! Woo! Woo <laughs> It's a hovercraft, it's uh, in development. Now, hovercrafts float because of pressure. Now, pressure uh, pushes on air or water or, or anything. Pressure is what makes rockets fly. Lift off. We have lift off. Pressure is power. Pressure is a pushing force in all directions at once. It's what makes blood go through our veins or air come into our lungs. <gasps> now, take a look at this. It's our water pressure brick breaker of science. Uh, these two bricks are the kind of bricks you might make a sidewalk out of. And over there is a bucket of colored water. It's connected to a hose. And the hose is connected to this big plastic cylinder. Now, right now, the pressure in the cylinder, the pressure in the hose, and the pressure in the bucket are all about the same. But if I raise the bucket way up, then the pressure down here will be higher because the weight of the water is pushing down. It's the same way you feel pressure on your ears when you dive to the bottom of a swimming pool. The weight of the water makes pressure. Now, the pressure in here will push up on this big plastic disc. And the plastic disc has so much area that it will create a lot of force. And that force will go up this metal rod and into these bricks. OK, let's hoist the bucket. Now, the pressure is going down the hose into the bucket and pushing on the bricks. Ah, there. It broke. Would you want them, you want them both to fall off? Yeah. Well, fine. Get them both to, we can do that. To fall off. The water's still coming down, pressure's still pushing up, and bricks just about out of water. And this is the first one, boom, see, look, it broke, but it didn't quite break it because, see, we ran out of water over here. See, that's all air. Ah, it's all air in here now. No, I'm not, I'm not mad. I'm not gonna, like, go nuts or anything. Yeah, nuts! Yeah, <laughs> there we go, see? Pressure, it's everywhere! Everywhere! Hey everybody, I'm Sammy Suction, high pressure comic, and I'm here to pump you up! Water pressure falls perilously. Hope that the fire can be extinguished is given up. So tell me about fire boats. Fire boats are really unique, Bill. They, they sit in their fire hydrant. As much water as they're sitting in, they can pump that much right back out. Fire boats work on pressure, Bill. They have pumps. Pumps make the pressure. That's, uh, that's a lot of pressure. That is a lot. Whenever there's a fire, we're ready. Uh, you're getting the uh, camera. Now it's time for another episode of Great Moments in Science. Dateline, the woods. When it comes to mud, high heels are duds. Too much pressure over too little high heels sink any plans for a walk. Talk about determined, she's at it again. But what gives? Certainly not the mud under her snowshoes, or should we say, mud shoes. They spread pressure over a wide enough area so that she won't sink. This has been another great moment in science. You can see air pressure by using a clear glass of water, like this, and a piece of paper, a postcard, or a card, like this. 
All you have to do is put the card over the glass of water, like this. Now flip it. The air pressure in the room pushes the card up against the rim and holds the water in the glass. All right, now we're gonna try it with something a little bit bigger. Fill it with water. Now we do the same experiment and put the card over the top and it should work, right? Because it worked on the smaller one and it's the same experiment. Well, we'll just do it. Um. Dad? What you got here is a, this is what we call a four pump system. There's a, a, a pump going to each cylinder. Each pump pushes a, a tremendous amount of pressure that's able to let the, the car go up and down. This switch would be for the front. That's what operates the pump to fill up the cylinders with the pressure oil. This one would be for the rear. These are like Extra for the car to go side to side. One tire in the air. We got 10 of them. It does front, back, side, side, individuals, and make a teeter totter. And like pancake. We call it a pancake up and down, front and back. Hydraulics, it's cool, and it's science. Now we're gonna do this one more time, only this time I'm gonna get some help. Cool. Okay, so now we put the card on top and flip it. Pressure acts in all directions at once. But what if there were no pressure? No pressure at all? Well, please consider the following. Pressure comes from molecules, tiny pieces of stuff like air or water. So this air-filled balloon has some pressure in it. But this balloon, with almost no air in it, has almost no pressure. No pressure. Now, when there's no pressure, no pressure, we say, it's a vacuum. A vacuum. We can make a vacuum. Vacuum. With this. It's our suction cup bow and arrow of science. Now see? The arrow hit so hard that the suction cup forced all the air out from underneath it. So the air pressure in the room is pushing down in all directions and holding the suction cup against the plastic. Underneath the suction cup, there's a vacuum. A vacuum. A vacuum. Now this is a vacuum pump. And when it's running, it pulls air through this hole, then through this hose, through the pump, and out here. So watch. We put the plastic plate underneath this big plastic tube. The vacuum pump starts to pull the air out of the tube so that pretty soon I can let go. I can let go. See, that's because atmospheric pressure, which is pushing in all directions, is also pushing up on the bottom of the plate. So pretty soon, if there's enough of vacuum, it'll hold me up. Oh, yeah. See? Not bad. See? 
I don't even need this box. <laughs> See? I I'm just dangling here. I'll say. The vacuum's holding me, though. Mm -hmm. Now I've got to uh, turn the pump off. Let's see. There. And then the valve. Yeah. Now, as the air comes back in the tube, the vacuum goes away. Pretty soon, it should let go. And I'll, uh... We clearance to launch. We are go. 15 seconds. These are going to be the fans for the rocket. 11. 10. My fans are looking pretty cool now. Pretty cool now. Nine. Billy done got a third pool. Eight. Ready for fans. Sequence start. Engines on. Five. on pneumatic pressure. Air under pressure comes through this hose. It pushes on a disc inside here. Now when pressure is spread out over an area, it makes a force, a lot of force. <laughs> hey, that got her. Piece of cake. Let the pressure do the work. Late-night experiment. Yeah. With vacuums. Vacuums work with differences of air pressure. Nails go into wood because of pressure. See, this end of the nail is sharp. It has a very small area. So when we apply a force to it, it makes a high pressure. Watch. The high pressure makes it go right into the wood. If we drive a nail the wrong way, well, this end has a bigger area. So for the same amount of force, we get a much lower pressure. Watch. See, doesn't work at all. Also, you have to use a tool that can take the pressure. And now, fun with vacuum chambers. 
Oh! Time's up. The correct answer is, yes, air has pressure. How do you think we stuck this plunger over your face? <laughs> That's all, folks. We'll see you next time on Pressure Bro... You gotta have the pressure, man. A dam holds back a lot of water, and that creates a lot of water pressure. It works like this. The pressure at the top of the dam is lower than the pressure at the bottom. That's why this one squirts out farther. So we put the turbines, the things that make electricity, down here. A lot of pressure makes a lot of electricity. This is a big dam. It's Hoover Dam. It all works with pressure, water pressure. My name is Patrick Stifter. I work for a water jet shop. A water jet can cut through wood like a hot knife through butter. And a granite slab, no problem. Water's put in there under a pressure of approximately 60,000 pounds per square inch. Under that pressure, that water is traveling at Mach 3. That's like three times the speed of sound. Even strong metals like titanium, which are used in airplanes and spacecraft, can be cut with a water jet. The high pressure water enters from the top, goes through the carbide at a very high speed, which draws the abrasive or the sand that we cut with through this white tube. The water accelerates the sand, producing a cutting tool. Moments in science. Dateline, the dartboard. A penny saved is a penny earned, but not when it comes to darts. The penny's pressure spreads over too large an area. No trick will make it stick. Here's a tip. A darts tip focuses pressure on a point. Stick with darts. They stick in the board. Isn't she sharp? pushing in all directions at once, like in this air mattress. Air molecules are pushing every which way, giving me a nice cushion in which to sit and ponder the pressures of science. Here's a beaker. When I turn it upside down in the water, there's a bubble of air, and the air pressure is holding the water out. Watch what happens when we go down. When we were at the surface, there was this much air. The level is right here. The soil's meters down, there's so much water pressure, which pushed the air up. The same amount of air now only takes up this much room. It's pressure pushing down. <laughs> is what forces air into balloons so that they can float around. But how strong is it really? Well, try this. Get an old mug or teacup and hold it sideways against a balloon while you blow it up. Check it out. The balloon expanded inside of the cup. Pressure makes it stick. It's nothing like a banana milkshake. Right now, 
atmospheric pressure is pushing down on the milkshake. It's even pushing down right through the straw. But if you suck the air out of the straw, then the pressure out here forces the milkshake up and into your mouth. Ah. Now, if you blow through the straw, well, then you have to overcome the pressure out here in order to make bubbles. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Abercrombie, if you'd hold still for just one moment here, we'll just... show thanks for watching if you excuse me i've got some path line pressure distributions to compute see ya produced in association with the national science foundation pressure play it out now oh yeah uh, yeah i can't take this pressure this is a brand new bottle of soda and it's hard to squeeze because there's high pressure inside but when we open it, we relieve the pressure. See? And now, it's easy to squeeze. See, I, I got all over my coat. We always like to trash the guy. That's what we go for with these guys. We like to get the stuff all over the guy. It's always the guy. It's all over my coat. It's over my shirt. It's my t-shirt down the back of my neck. It's on my pants. It's over my socks and my shoes. Always making a mess. I'm a guy! <laughs> it's kind of funny, though.